Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, also known as ScooterWest.com for our e-commerce site for all things Vespa here in North America. Today I'm sitting on a nice titanium gray 2019 Sprint. So it's got this boring looking warm white halogen headlight, even though it's so 2019. Uh, best kind of upgrade you could do is put this Super Sport Trick projector style LED upgrade on your Sprint scooter. Fits all years of the Sprint, you know, starting 2014 is when the Sprint came out. Super easy install, looks super trick, the quality's great. It's got aluminum uh, housing, all plug and play operation. One extra wire to install so you can get the, um, the angel eye, which is this really, really trick looking uh, ring of LEDs that kind of follows the whole perimeter of the headlight. You can see it inside the lens. Looks super duper trick. Alternatively, if you're looking for something less expensive uh, than this option, we do have the OEM original Vespa LED headlight kit for the Sprint. In Europe, Europe 2018 later, they've come with the LED headlight. For North America, no LED headlight. But we have the kit to convert that over. Uh, if you're looking for something even cheaper, but want the super cool look of the cool white LED and a little bit brighter headlight, you can also alternate, alternatively put the LED retrofit bulb. We have videos for doing that. Real simple to install. It's essentially replacing the bulb with the LED module. Part number on the LED module is H4-LED. For this trick LED projector beam retrofit module, it's the OEM part number 1D000007. So that's five zeros and a seven dash LED. And that's the complete module that replaces it. Comes with everything you need, the hardware, uh, the extra posi tap connection to make this connection. Let's jump right into the tools needed and get the install started. Super simple. So to complete the install of uh, the projector beam LED headlight, you just need these four basic tools. Or if you're just changing the headlight bulb, you'll need the same tools as well. A T25 Star Drive Torx, a number two Phillips driver. To remove the headlight frame, you're going to need an eight millimeter open end wrench. Alternatively, you can get one of these fancy ratcheting ones. And this one's made by Mako, but I'm sure you can find a, a Craftsman over at Lowe's or a Husky brand over at Home Depot or Harbor Freight or whatever. Um, also, to pop the ball sockets off, you need some type of pry device. Uh, oftentimes, people use flat screwdrivers as a prying tool. They're not intended for that, but such a low force, you could use a flat blade screwdriver or some type of spudge or a plastic pry tool to get the headlight separated from the frame, as you'll see in the next steps of the assembly. Don't necessarily need to remove the mirrors. Uh, it does make the job a little easier, but I tend not to remove them anymore, but lift the little rubber caps. For the headlight bezel, there's a pair of screws. Phillips number two screwdriver will remove those screws. Go ahead and turn the handlebars, gain access to the screws. Take care not to um, rub the screwdriver on the body. Alternatively, you could use one of those little short stubby screwdrivers. If you buy one of those big screwdriver kits, it comes with like 25 screwdrivers. Usually you'll have a stubby Phillips in there as well. So. Pair of small screws are removed. Headlight bezel it pulls out towards the bottom, unsnaps from the top, and you just carefully want to remove the bottom part because the clips tend to want to stay behind. The clips that the screws uh, thread into, commonly referred to as a Tinnerman clip. And it looks like I successfully removed it without losing the clips. So four screws hold the upper handlebar cover to the lower handlebar. Again, number two Phillips driver will do the trick. So I removed the four screws that hold the handlebar cover. As you can see, the ones towards the front are going to be kind of the medium length ones that don't have a point. The rear two are going to be a little bit longer with a point. So go ahead and pull up on the handlebar covers. And pretty simple to remove. 
as you can see, there's four points where it snaps into the lower handlebar cover. There's a single connector that holds a headlight. Go ahead and press the tab on the center part of the connector and go ahead and pull the connector off. Go ahead and remove the connector for the standard halogen headlight bulb. Pulls straight off. There's a rubber boot. Underneath this boot is the bayonet fitting that holds the halogen bulb in place in, in case you're curious on how to change out the halogen bulb on the standard headlight. There's going to be four bolts that hold the headlight assembly to the handlebars. You want to take an open end or alternatively you can have a ratcheting wrench like this. Um, go ahead and crack all these and once you get them loose, pretty easy to unthread as they're machine screws going into uh, brass threads. And then down below, there's another pair, and they're a little, little more work to get to because there's cables, and um, they're just not as easy to access. You can get your fingers down there. You know, of course, be very uh, careful not to lose a screw because once it drops, it's going to drop into the frame of the scooter right down to the steering tube. Not going to do any damage, but it's kind of a bummer when you lose the screw. So got the last screw out, now the headlight assembly separates from the handlebars. So this next step requires you to remove the reflector assembly, this is the gray part with the lens, from the headlight adjustment bracketry. This is this black plastic uh, bracket here. It has three screws for adjustment. This is the left and right adjustment, um, and this is the height adjustment that's accessible from outside the handlebars. So the easy way to do this is to get some type of pry tool or a small screwdriver between the gray and the black, black part and very carefully pry until the ball joint pops. And you can see there's a metal ball on a threaded shaft and that's part of the adjusting mechanism and it pops out of a nylon socket on the headlight reflector. And go ahead and do the same for the other side. And sometimes you'll end up with a socket that will come out with it. You can go ahead and pry that off once we get the headlight out of the way. So the easy way to pop the lower one is to note the distance that the threads are exposed. I would say about 3 8 inch or 7 millimeters, something like that. And just go ahead and unscrew this until it pops. And essentially, you'll just use the threads and it will pop right out. See it pop right out of the socket. And go ahead and thread that back in. This can stay with the headlight assembly. The new headlight assembly includes new sockets. So I got the new headlight assembly and go ahead and line up the sockets with the balls on the um, adjusters. So those snap right into place. And the last one. And we'll go ahead and set this back to approximate position where it was. And there you go. So reassemble the headlight assembly to the handlebars with the four machine screws that were originally removed. Again, just get them started. Don't want to go to town tightening uh, one screw and find it's quite difficult uh, to get the last one lined up. So the original headlight connector connects to this connection coming off the back of the headlight. And if you like, you can wrap this with electrical tape. Otherwise, it's pretty well insulated. It could just be tucked towards the bottom of the headlight assembly. And you have this last extra wire. And you're going to need to tap into the brake light switch wiring, which has a wire that has inner, you know, power when the ignition key is on to operate the angel eye. So there's a pair of wires coming off this. Um, I'll pull them off. You don't necessarily need to do that. Um, one with a black stripe, and one that's solid white. You want to locate the wire that's solid white. Doesn't matter what position they go on the switch for the brake light operation. Go ahead and straddle the gray terminal of the um, posi, posi tap. You can see the silver plated needle that's going to thread into this gray terminal or ferrule, whatever you want to call it. Then next, 
you want to take that red wire, you can route this underneath the frame if you like and go ahead and twist the conductors, the strands and go ahead and insert it right into the ferrule with this unthreaded a few turns, you know, makes it. So it kind of goes all the way in, go ahead and tighten that red ferrule and then we can reconnect the brake light switch. Take your upper handlebar cover with a speedometer in it. Go ahead and reconnect the speedometer connection. Super simple. It only goes one direction. Clicks into place. And we're just going to go ahead and set the handlebars in position. Before we screw, put all the screws back in place, we want to check the operation of all the lights. And for instance, say you're having a little difficulty getting this back in, you may need to reposition that headlight connection. You know, sometimes it may be in the, in the way of the uh, speedometer. It looks like it all snaps in the spot, no problem. Turn on your ignition. You can see the awesome looking halo is working. Powered right when the ignition switch is turned on. And go ahead and start the scooter. See high beam and low beam. As you see, the low beam just operates the two uh, cylinder style projector beams. High beam, in addition to those pair of cylinders that are your low beam, turns on that center um, projector beam lens. Looks super awesome, much better than the stock halogen bulb that's kind of just plain and boring and old looking. Go ahead and reinstall the screws, long ones in the, in the rear. So if you're having difficulty putting the headlight rim back on, go ahead and unthread this a couple turns and you can see it aims the headlight higher and allows for easy fitment of the headlight bezel. Keep in mind we do have these bezels available in black and also the standard chrome. The black, black you can find in both matte finish and gloss. Dress up your uh, Sprint, especially a color like this, titanium. Looks great with the black uh, trim. So once, once you have the handlebars all assembled, you want to take the scooter out for a short ride at night and verify the headlight aim. Um, you can find other videos from other people on doing the specific um, Department of Transportation, SAE, you know, specification for the headlight aim. But I find with motorcycles, you know, you just want it where, you know, it, it works good for you. So you can thread it in to aim it down. Just take care not to hit the ends because it will pop the, um, the balls out of the sockets on the headlight. Then you'll have to take it all back apart. But you see there's quite a bit of aim adjustment. If you want to sit, change the left and right aim and the side to side aim, you need to pop the handlebar covers back off and it's the pair of screws on the sides of the headlight that make that adjustment. So here we got the stock included halogen standard reflector that comes stock on any of the, the sprints, whether it's a Sprint 50, Sprint 1, 150. Of course, the European models, 2018 later, they had an LED that's factory on them. Here's the stock reflector with our H4 LED retrofit bulb. And here's the complete retrofit enclosure with the projector beam. It's a complete assembly with the LED bulbs. So here's the stock setup on the US Sprint with the stock halogen 55 watt low beam, high beam. You see the high beam goes much further out, indicated by the much larger halo of light on the door there. Low beam kind of covers more of the ground. So here's the LED retrofit bulb in the stock reflector on the Vespa Sprint. You can see the cutoff is still pretty good. You get much more light thrown out at a cooler uh, color temperature. And you see the high beam goes much further and adds light in addition to the standard low beam with the LED retrofit light.
So here's the projector beam LED retrofit kit for the Sprint. You can see the cutoff is very nice, distinguished by the line going across the door, and it throws a ton of light right in front of you, just very low. So very little glaring light. It's usable light right in front of you. And when you go onto the high beam, it adds an additional level of light that's thrown much further. And at night, believe me, this one looks so much better than the other two options when you go out riding at night. And without blinding the oncoming traffic, typical of aftermarket um, HID headlight bulb kits and many of the LED retrofit bulb kits. So hey everybody, thanks for watching this video for installation on this super cool LED headlight on my favorite scooter, favorite modern Vespa, the Sprint. Uh, I got a lot of vintage ones I like, but I'm not gonna talk about those today. Um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Vespa Motorsports, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell to follow all the new videos that we come out with, um, you know, hopefully on a weekly s schedule. Uh, keep in mind, we have well over 400 videos, um, everything from changing your oil to complicated uh, engine upgrades, vintage Vespa, modern Vespa, everything Vespa. Vespa Motorsport, robot here. Until next time, thanks again.